Okay, kids, we're here for Guess the Words. And it's marked as hard. Don't try this at home. It says, this problem is an interactive problem new to the Leak Code platform. You're given a word list of unique words. Each word is six letters long, and one word in this list is chosen as secret. You may call master guess word to guess a word. The guess word should have a type string and must be from the original list of six lower with six lowercase characters. The function, this function returns an integer type representing the number of exact matches, value and position of your guess to the secret word. Um, also, if your guess was not is not in the given word list, it will return minus one instead. Although I'm not sure why you would want to send in a word that's not part of the word list. For each test case, you may have you have ten guesses to guess the word. At the end of any number of calls, if you have made ten or less calls to to master guess and at least one of these guesses was the secret, you pass the test case. Besides the example test case below, there will be five additional test cases, each with 100 words in the word list. The letters of each word of those test cases were chosen independently. Fine. Well, we don't care how they built this thing up. Uh, we just want to know how it works. So they give you an example. If your secret word is A-C-C-K-Z-Z, -Z, yes, I pronounce it the Canadian way, and you have this list of words over here. You throw in A, 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 and it returns minus one, although I'm not sure why you would want to throw in that as at first. Then you throw in your main word. Well, um, you get this six. It has all six matches over here, so that's fine. Um, I'm not sure why you would send in more, so I think that's good enough over there. Um, if it returns three, so these, so you have this letter, you have, you throw this combination here and you see that there's three matches because you see that, okay, at least this C matches. Um, let's see now, at these two Zs or Zs as Americans pronounce it, matches and so on and so forth. So here you have two matches. Why? Because we see that the two Zs again match and here you have four matches because you have the four Zs you have one C and the A that match. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, it turns out this is a transitivity problem. Okay, what you want to do is what you want to do is reduce the number of words from which you have to guess with. But how do you do that? Well, supposing you throw in a word that has three matches, you know that your secret word is also among this list and will also have three matches, three word matches, three letter matches vis-a-vis -vis the word that you sent in to guess. So you could send in, you could throw in your own function to compare the number of letters that match and you prune the list, meaning you erase from the list whatever words don't have three letters that match. And so in this fashion, and you continue doing that, so for example, supposing you get four matches here, on the, you, you could immediately start reducing the list and you could search for all the words that also have four matches over here. And if they don't, if they only have two letters that match, that means that your secret word cannot be one of these. So that's transitivity. If A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Oh, for example, um, they say, let's see now, they say power is an aphrodisiac. And they also say, um, they also say knowledge is power. Therefore, knowledge of C++ is an aphrodisiac. <coughs> that's my little revenge of the nerds laugh. Okay, let's go about solving this. Well, the first thing that we might want to do is come up with that function that counts the matches between two words. So let's do that. Well, we want to come up with our own. Um, so this is count letter matches, it should be called really. And we want to throw in two strings passed by uh, passed by reference, whoops. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to stick to writing STD over here. And um, okay, so we start off with account that's zero. And we just compare these strings, which are always six characters long. So let's see now, for int i equals zero, i smaller than string one dot size, i plus plus. So we're just going to compare these here. If uh, word, uh, no, sorry, if uh, string one i, um, actually, you know what? We're going to call this word wood. And we're going to call this word two, because many things are strings. Let's just kind of be, let's just be a little bit more uh, precise at our, if word one i, whoops, not going well today with the typing, equals word um, two i, then um, my count plus plus. And, oh yeah, of course we want to return my count. Okay. Okay, now we know that when we're looking for, when we're playing around with these words, we want a way to access them really quickly because as we're erasing them, we want a way to find them quickly. And I think one way of doing that would be to put them in a set and the reason is uh, the access to this would be O of one. We don't always need to look for them. Um, it would it would come up with it right away. So supposing um, supposing we just call this um, my word list, and we could initialize it with word list dot begin word list dot end. And that's it. So suddenly it already copied these. This is kind of a copy constructor that takes in this word list and inserts it into my list. Pretty cool the way you could do that. Now we're going to actually we we actually don't need to count the guesses, but just for our own sanity, let's start the let's let's do that because it's not it itself will keep track of the number of times that you call that um that master guess word there. So while um, while not my word list dot empty, so you're going to start pruning this list as you go along, and we're going to get the gist of it right here. Um, the okay, so we're going to explain it again, and um, my guess is. Um, smaller than 10 because you always want that. Um, okay, so okay, so what you want to do is you want to send a particular word to my matches. You want to get the number of letter batches. Actually, let's call this letter batches over here you want to send, you always want to send the first word on your list. That's kind of our methodology. So what are we going to guess? We're going to guess my word list um, dot begin. Okay, what exactly is this? This is an iterator and we're dereferencing it. So the iterator is very much like a pointer, and we're dereferencing it. So that's that's our lingo over here. Now we're going to prune our set over here. Based on this, we're going to find all the other words that have the same number of letter batches, and we're going to keep those, and we're going to delete all of the ones. We're going to erase all of the ones that do not have the same number of letter batches. So. Uh, we want to come up with a function prune, and what do we want to prune? We want to prune. Um, we want to prune from the word that we just sent. So we want to send the word that we just sent. Um, 
we want to send in what is it um, we want to send um, let's see the letter matches so this is I should have actually called this okay we'll call this num letter matches that's more precise num letter matches and what we also want to throw in is my word list which is what we're going to be deleting from so let's come up with that pruning function uh, void uh, prune and admittedly I should have kept this lowercase but we don't really care right, right now so what we want what pruning is getting in is Um, is a string which we'll call the check word. So this is the word, our kind of a reference word. Um, and we'll, we're throwing in the num letter matches, also passed by reference. And we're throwing in our word list, which we're obviously going to pass by reference over here. So we'll just copy that over here and we'll pass it by reference and actually let's uh let's just kind of indent everything a little bit better here okay now um let's see oh yeah and meanwhile we'll just count the guesses here i just forgot to do that over here okay what does this pruning function do well, um, first it comes up with a set of strings that we want to delete. We'll call these words to delete over here. And we're just going to be adding. So whichever words do not have the same number of letter matches, meaning supposing you found, supposing this returned kind of three letters that match, you want to get rid of all the ones that don't have three matching letters that's what you want. So let's go through the word list. So for const auto element my word list, um, if count, this is where our count matches function comes in. If count matches um, element and check word not equal to num letter matches. So if the return from this, if the comparison between these two words does not equal num letter matches, then we're going to delete it. We're going to add it to words to delete. So if it doesn't have the same number of matches, then we could add it to words delete. And then um, we just iterate through, we just iterate through my, through words delete. And remember the my word list that we passed by reference. Well, now we could erase the particular element, which is each word to delete from word to, del to delete. What happens if we run this? And we have a winner here. Let's see if we submit. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have yourselves a good day.